Okay, that was the hospital. And uh, so again, this morning, um, they I listened to medical rounds for Mike. Um, and uh, this is just, it's so tough for something again, that, didn't, that just didn't have to happen. He went to work. <laughs> and this is why it's so important that people mask and um, adhere to the recommendations or the, I know Premier Kenny has really made them recommendations more than anything up till recently. Um, but it's important that we observe and pay attention and, and do what we should be doing. And it's, you know, um, when people talk about their rights, maybe they should think about the rights of the people around them and the rights of my husband. He has the right not to be in the position where he's in right now. And I have the right to not have to go through this right now. So when I hear people talking about their rights not to wear a mask or whatever, I hope that um, they can... Uh, Pay attention to this. And in fact, I um I'm usually I don't I don't say much. You know, when I see people wearing their mask under their nose or whatever, and I, I kind of think, geez, what you know, I really wish you'd just pull that mask up over your nose. There's a lady in the grocery store talking on her phone with her mask under her chin, you know, shopping away, yakking away, and then so I finally decided, you know, I, and I'm very polite. When I have something to say, I don't get rude about it. And I just said, you know, um, would you mind when you're in the store to please just put your mask up? I said, I, I've got a sick family member with COVID and, uh, and I'm just, you know, trying to look out for everybody. And she, you know, swore at me and told me to mind my own damn business and that she's outside. And I said, yes, you are outside. I said, but you know, I, I just saw you in the store and I just, you know, just trying to, just trying to look out for everybody and including yourself. And again, she swore at me and whatever. And, and I mean, that's okay. It's just that nobody in the store, not one store person would say anything. And, um, you know, I, I actually apologize and I, I, you know, said, oh, I, you know, sorry. Well, if, if that wasn't you, I'm terribly sorry, you know, um, but it was <laughs> anyway. Um, and that's just the kind of volatile reaction that this is causing for people. And it's ridiculous because if she were in my shoes, I think she would be thinking a little bit differently. Anyway, the update uh, um, wasn't positive today. And I'm still waiting for that drug that um, Fort McMurray Pharmacy screwed up. I don't even know how many times it was supposed to be here yesterday. Then it's supposed to be here this morning. It's not there now. He needed it like on the, the first you know, like he's getting worse because it's not getting the treatment that we're supposed to have for this. And hospitals just don't have any more. And it's up to families. And most family members probably wouldn't even know to get the medication. And it's expensive. And I'm just grateful that I have the ability to get it right now. But I don't know that I'm going to have the ability to get the second dose. And, uh, you know, I think about the people in India and other areas of the world that don't have anything. And um, it just breaks my heart. I feel grateful that my husband is able to get treatment. Anyway, I think that's going to be my bit for today. Um, maybe after I visit, um, I'll have something to say again. But for all those that do care to watch, thank you. And I hope that you'll take some of this and um, 
do something with it, whether it's just change what you do or keep doing what you're doing to protect others. Or as I mentioned, if you're not, change what you're doing so that others can be safe, including yourself and your family. I wish you all safety, wellness, and love. Bye for now.